Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My friends, in love and in sorrow, we have come together to celebrate this funeral mass for Michael McCormick. May the Father of mercies, the God of all consolation, be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Michael died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal life. Family members now open the white pall, the white cloth onto the casket, a symbol of Michael's baptism in Christ. And being clothed now is welcomed into the kingdom of God. Please Our Lady Charles is now placed on the casket. Please join in singing our opening hymn, On This Day, O Beautiful Mother, which can be found in your program on this day, O beautiful mother. Trusting thy gentle 
Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord. As our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, may our hope of resurrection for your departed servant, Michael, also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment will touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men indeed they be punished, Yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in a furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and the rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want In verdant pastures He gives me repose Beside restful waters He leads me He refreshes my soul The Lord is my shepherd There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me 
in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. <clears throat> Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything be by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellency, and if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad in the Lord. Blessed and holy are you. Rejoice. Your reward is the kingdom of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, 
for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Alleluia. 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 may be seated this time. We gather here this morning uh, to celebrate the life of Michael McCormick and certainly the faithfulness of God. Those who gather here may be at different places, but we bring everything to our God, sadness at the death of Michael, that he is no longer with us, also joy because there is the coming together of his family and the memories they've shared since his passing. And we come to understand that Michael lived a good and full life and, and that is what we celebrate today. Michael Joseph McCormick passed away on May 30th. His wife, Gloria Brundage McCormick, was at his bedside reciting the rosary. And I'm sure that made Michael's passing very peaceful as he had a strong devotion uh, to the Blessed Mother. So thank you, Gloria. He was predeceased by his parents, a Joseph and Josephine McCormick, his sister, Mary Jo McCormick, uh, Menhenet Dillon, and his cousins, Edward Bacchus and John Elmy Jr. So on behalf of the people of St. Patrick's and Sister Mary Jane, and want to express our condolences to his family, <coughs> uh, to his wife Gloria, uh, his brother Richard and his wife uh, Cherry, nieces, nephews, uh, grandnieces, grandnephews, and I guess a zillion of cousins. I'd like to share a few thoughts about Michael. Uh, that he was a good man, strong in his faith, devoted to his family. I guess he was a self-taught artist, a hardworking man, and was one of the best newspaper carriers, which he did after his retirement from Anikot Johnson. Mike and Gloria met in front of the Blessed Sacrament of St. Mary the Assumption Church in Court Street in Binghamton. They were married on September the 15th, 1979, and on their 40th wedding anniversary, they received a special blessing from Bishop Emeritus Robert J. Cunningham, again, which made their uh, anniversary uh, very special. In 2017, Michael underwent heart surgery, which allowed him an extra seven years of life. He even did a drawing of an Easter rabbit postage stamp several years ago, used for mailing letters. Again, the thing, um, <clears throat> um, I always enjoyed seeing Mike and, and Gloria at Mass, and I know it was difficult for Michael to attend lately, but especially this past year, but due to health issues, when we saw him in the hospital again, he was just so very positive, you know. Um, he really appreciated the prayers, had a nice little talk, and he uh, received the anointing of the sick. You know, I can tell that it just meant so much to him, and I know it helped him and certainly kept him hopeful uh, right to the very end. 
you know, his faith, again, was so important to him. Um, and because his faith was important to him, we look to the scriptures um, chosen uh, for his funeral mass that we may find comfort in them. From the Book of Wisdom, we heard that the souls of the just are in the hand of God and that no torment shall touch them, that they are in peace. Again, what a comfort these words are. Why? Because this reading reminds us that we are in the hands of God and that God, who is mercy and compassion, certainly loves us and always cares for us. As Christians, these thoughts again help us as we face the reality of death, but we do so with a sense of peace, assured that our loved ones go to God. Psalm 23 is a psalm of comfort. Beside restful waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul, reminding us that there is nothing to be afraid of, for the Lord is always by our side. And Michael knew that. He knew that especially in his last days. And um, it gave him the courage that he needed again uh, as he, as he fasts uh, fast his, um, his last days. This trust is reaffirmed by St. Paul who says to us, Rejoice in the Lord always. Your kindness shall be known to all, that when we give praise and worship to God, the God of peace uh, will be with you. Michael knew what was true, what was honorable, what was just, what was pure, what was lovely, what was gracious. And he thought about all those things and he tried to live them in his everyday life. You know, as we look at our lives and there are certainly many things that happen in our lives that we, we might question and wonder why. Why sickness? Why suffering? Why tragic events? But at times like this, we trust, we try to trust that the Lord is with us during these times, and the Lord will give us the strength that we need to get us through them. And the Beatitudes that we heard in the Gospel show us how to live our faith, reminding us once again of what is important. You know, especially the way we treat people, the way we face difficulties in life, the way we extend to others the mercy that has been shown to us, the compassion we extend to others who are hurting in some way. Again, all of you here have your own special remembrances, those special moments when, when Michael touched your lives and the lives of others. So we encourage you to continue sharing uh, those, those things that were important to him and be thankful for those special times that you had for in this way we give him honor. We said Michael lived a good life and was a good man. And he taught us many valuable lessons in life. And we are again are so grateful for the many ways that he influenced the lives of his family and of his friends and that all who knew him. And so we thank him for the love given and received, for the ways he influenced our lives by his beliefs, his attitudes, and his values. This morning we shared the words of scripture that gave Michael strength and courage and hope. And now, in that now give us comfort and peace. We heard some, and we'll hear some beautiful music, especially hymns dedicated to the Blessed Mother. Again, that reminds us once again of Michael's devotion to the Blessed Mother as well as Gloria's was important to them and, and again the rosary was such a comfort to him um, as he passed from from this world and our presence here uh, at this funeral mass gives us an opportunity uh, also to reflect and express our gratitude for Michael's life 
So we thank him for giving us again of some of the things that are most important in life, certainly faith in God, the love that we share with family and friends and God's word. And I think as we reflect on those um, things that are most important, may we uh, again try to reflect one of them in our own lives. Again, um, Michael was a good person. And so, Michael, you have been a good and faithful servant. Enter now into the joy of the Lord. May God grant you eternal rest and peace. Amen. We will now continue with the prayers of intercession. May you please stand. <clears throat> God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead, and with confidence we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. Our response for each of these petitions is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Michael, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, may he now be admitted to the company of the saints we pray to the Lord. For our brother who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, may he be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. For the deceased members of Michael's family, his parents, A. Joseph and Josephine McCormick, his sister Mary Jo McCormick, Manhattan Jillen, and his cousins Edward Bacchus and John Elmy Jr., May they have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. For Michael's family and friends, that the love they have shared be a source of strength and peace at this time of loss, we pray to the Lord. Michael's deep sense of loyalty and devotion to God and to his family and to his friends inspired all of us May we, too, live committed lives of self-giving, we pray to the Lord. And for all caregivers whose care and presence sustained Michael's spirit to the end of his life, we pray to the Lord. And for all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen and love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated at this time. And the gifts of bread and wine uh, will be presented by... Uh, Michael's wife, Gloria, his brother, Richard, uh, niece, uh, Jennifer, and Kelly. Please join in singing our offertory hymn, Oops. Holy Patron, The Saluting, found in your programs, or number 134. Holy patron, the saluting, here we meet with hearts sincere. 
Blast Saint Joseph, all uniting, call on thee to hear our prayer. Happy Saint, in bliss adoring, Jesus, Savior of humankind, hear thy children the imploring, may we thy protection find. Thou who faithfully attended Him whose heaven and earth adore, Who with pious care defended Mary, virgin, ever pure. Happy saint, in bliss adoring, Jesus, Savior of humankind, hear thy children the imploring, may we thy protection find. May our fervent prayers ascending Move thee for our souls to plead. May thy sin of peace descending, benedictions on us shed. Happy saint in bliss adoring, Jesus, Savior of humankind, hear thy children the imploring, may we thy protection find. Through this life, O oh, watch around us, Fill with love our every breath. And when parting fear surrounds us, Guide us through the toils of death. Happy saint in bliss adoring, Jesus, Savior of humankind, Hear thy children the imploring, may we thy protection find. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> As we humbly present you the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Michael, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that though saddened by the certainty of dying, might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so, the angels and archangels, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <clears throat> Holy, holy, 
holy Lord God of hosts heaven and earth are all of your glory O Son of in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord O Son Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created ready gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick, and with all the saints, and whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. 
Remember your servant, Michael McCormick, whom we have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> Amen. 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 Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray in song. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. So the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Mm. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn may be found in your programs. O Lord, I am not worthy. O Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come to me. But speak the word of comfort, my spirit healed shall be, and humbly I'll receive thee the bridegroom of my soul. No more by sin to grieve thee, or fly thy sweet control. Eternal Holy Spirit, Unworthy though I be, prepare me to receive him and trust the word to me. Increase my faith, dear Jesus. In thy real presence here And make me feel most deeply That thou to me art near
Please join in singing our communion meditation found in your programs, Lady of Knock. There were people of all ages Gathered round the gable wall Poor and humble men and women Little children that you call We are gathered here before you and our hearts are just the same Filled with joy at such a vision As we praise your name Golden Rose, Queen of Ireland all my cares and troubles cease As I kneel with love before you Lady of Knock, my Queen of Peace Oh, your message was unspoken But the truth in silence lies So I gaze upon your vision And the truth I try to find Here I stand with John the teacher and with Joseph at your side And I see the Lamb of God On the altar glorified Golden Rose, Queen of Ireland all my cares and troubles cease As I kneel with love before you Lady of Knock, my Queen of Peace And the Lamb will conquer And the woman clothed in the sun Will shine her light on everyone And the Lamb will conquer And the woman clothed in the sun will shine her light on everyone. Golden Rose, Queen of Ireland, all my cares and troubles cease as I need with love before you, Lady of Knock, my Queen of Peace, my Queen of Peace.
Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Michael may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Tradition here at St. Patrick's is that a family member inscribed the name of their deceased loved one in the parish book of life is based on belief as Christians that those who have died have entered into eternal life. A book of life is placed in a prominent place in the sanctuary, a reminder that they are now part of the communion of saints, that we remember them, pray for them, and ask their help on our journey of faith. At this time, Michael's wife, Gloria will inscribe Michael's name in the Book of Life. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Father of mercies, we commend our brother Michael in a sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon Michael in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain to comfort one another 
with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before we have our final prayer and blessings, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for being here. Your presence means a lot to, to Gloria and, and, and Brother Richard, their families. So we thank you for, for being here. Um, they'd also like to invite you or to, to invite you to join them following a, a service at the cemetery um, at the parish hall uh, for luncheon. Uh, please go there uh, immediately following the service here. Uh, the immediate family will be going to the cemetery and they will um, meet you when they uh, come back from the cemetery. So again, I know that Gloria has prepared something for everyone, so we hope that you will join, uh, join her uh, for this luncheon. Please stand. Let's now bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. First, for Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out there in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest granted to him, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. And may his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Michael, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham where Lazarus is poor no longer, may you find eternal rest. And in peace, let us now take our brother to his place of rest. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing our closing hymn found in your programs, Let There Be Peace on Earth. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God as our Father, brothers all are we. Let me walk with my brother in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my solemn vow to take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin.